What's the big deal about big data? What's up, Ladder Climbers? Today, I will be talking to you guys about big data and why it is such a big deal. My name is Antoine Wade, and I'm the founder of Black Heights, MIS grad, MBA, career coach, and mentor for those of you who want to embark on an IT career. And today, I will be talking to you guys about big data and why it's such a big deal. By the way, there is bonus content for those who watch all the way to the end. Now let's get started. In order for us to understand what big data is, first we need to understand two fundamental concepts, what data is and connected devices. Let's start with data. Data is simply information stored on a computer screen and this information is essentially a record which the business or the technology component of an organization relies on to function as a business entity. For example, when you purchase an item from the grocery store, that item has a barcode, which correlates to a price, which correlates to an inventory item, which correlates to a supplier, guys. And all of this information is stored on a computer systems database. Now let's talk about connected devices, the cashier, at the store scans the item using a point of sale system, which is connected to the inventory database, which could be connected directly to a supplier and other procurement systems. The recent development in the internet and smartphone technology has created a connected planet where you can now get food delivered to your doorstep using platforms like Uber Eats which I use quite often. You can book a holiday destination using Airbnb, which I also use quite often. You can use a car without owning one with apps like Uber, pay for all these utilities without using cash. All these deeply integrated connected devices and the data which consumers produce during these transactions are considered data, guys. In the past 10 years, the developments in storage and transmission of data over the internet has rapidly increased, creating great opportunities in the field called big data. The improvement of the speed and processing capabilities of computing has also presented opportunities for organizations to process all the data they are collecting to provide them with insights. Side note guys, what is an insight? Well, to make it simple, if you run a grocery store and have 20 different products which you sell and want to figure out which products sell the most versus which sell the least, you will collect all the sales data from the information systems, run database queries. These queries will essentially show you which items sell the least and sell the most. You can then make actionable decisions to promote that particular product more or less dependent on what the data insights reveal. So now let's expand on this concept a little more. We live in a hyper-connected planet in which 6.6 billion people own and use smartphones in some form of social media. Electric vehicles and cars have sensors equipped on them to feed back data to the manufacturers. Financial institutions collect information about your purchases and spending habits to detect fraud. Have you ever been browsing for shoes online and next thing you see an advertisement promote the same exact shoes you were looking at? Well, guess what? Your data was being collected and the actionable insights were implemented into that specific advertisement. There are many applications available within the big data world, including but not limited to the following. Retail stores use big data to spot spending trends, and this results in special offers and coupons for specific purchases. Manufacturing use big data to optimize on operations and cut down on deficiencies, which can cost organizations resources such as time and money. Healthcare uses big data to see what diseases are prevalent in a particular population group and how to circumvent spending by implementing special measures in strategic key areas. And social media uses big data to suggest content 
which you have historically shown interest in. By the way, if you like this video and you like me, but want to find out more about your tech journey, you are more than welcome to join my Patreon, which gives you access to my Discord, which has a community of like-minded business professionals in tech. Now to the bonus point, guys. So now that we have covered data and connected devices, we can talk about the bonus content. Data just doesn't transform itself into insights. In order for raw data to be transformed into insights, it requires data scientists, data analysts to compile comprehensive reports. And these comprehensive reports are created using database queries, algorithms, and other visualizations. And when you are dealing with big data, there are two kinds of data, structured data and unstructured data. Data scientists are essentially mathematicians and computer scientists who work with complex data. So what is complex data? Well, let's use a simple example. If Uber wanted to optimize its business in a certain city, it would take trip length, trip frequency, trip costs, weather data, traffic data, and current events to see when people travel the most in a particular region. And let's say, when the New York Yankees play a match at home in their home stadium, the demand for trips increases by 55%, but the capacity of rides available is only 75%. So most people can't get rides. So Uber can take that data that there is a new ball game coming in next week. It can do one of two things. It can invite drivers from different neighboring regions to fill up the deficit or give people a 10% discount on their rides if they book them early, ensuring all people who need rides pre-book them. And this cannot be executed without connected devices. So sending data to an information system and data scientists deriving insights from the big data. Big data is heavily reliant on infrastructure, and this infrastructure can be classified into four main components, sensors, connectivity, storage, and processing. And sensors essentially collect data from a connected device, and this can be a device as simple as a smartphone or a telescope pointed at the cosmos. Connectivity, with the implementation of 5G technology, the internet is continuously improving this and more devices to be connected sending more data and this improves our ability to get more insights and make better profitable decisions in storage well all the data has to be stored in a secure environment and side note did you know that data is considered a natural resource it is yes it is and last but not least processing and in processing is often done by mainframe computers which are accessible through the cloud and various apis and this is just the introduction to big data. And there are many more topics which we are going to touch and cover, including the technology developments and the skills required, which you will need in order to be a mover and a shaker in the industry. And don't forget to like, but more importantly, subscribe to this channel, guys, so that you can get notifications when the information comes out. As you may know, or you may not know, I'm a big fan of MIS which stands for Management Information Systems. I have a Management Information Systems degree, and I think it's one of the best majors out there. And the reason why is because of its versatility. If you want to get into big data, MIS is definitely a good place to start because it gives you the technical and business skills to communicate and implement solutions in the world of big data. Thank you guys for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.